By golly, I love to know how that contract was structured. Good luck on getting that stuff. It's back ordered nationally. So we're just gonna use what they used in 2022. <laughs> All right, today we're changing the engine and gearbox oil on this 2023 Beta 390 RRS Dual Sport. Beta has separate oil for the gearbox and also the engine. And if you get confused, well, just take a look inside the filler cap there and uh, you'll see the difference. Got our new filter, various tools, which I'll call out in detail when we get to it. I've got the owner's manual right here on my iPad so I don't make a mistake. Step number one is to get the engine hot. Initiating engine warm sequence. All right, she's sufficiently warm. Let's get that skid plate off. Got two eight millimeters, one here at the front, and then also one here at the rear. Engine oil drain plugs in the front. Transmission oil drain plug in the rear. Our oil filter is located here. So let's remove that drain plug, then we'll remove our oil filter. Engine oil drain. There's the oil screen that comes out with the uh, oil plug. All right, while that's draining, let's remove the oil filter. So I'm just gonna sit this right here in my pan for now. Again, eight millimeter. Oil filter's right in there. So we're gonna grab that other ring. So it's recommended to new, use some uh, snap ring pliers to actually remove the oil filter. We should be able to go inside here, grab the oil filter and pull it out. All right, I've cleaned the, the mating surface there. This is what came with the kit the dealership gave me. There's your part number. All right, there's my freshy oil. Just cook that mountain, that uh, mating surface there. Got our O-ring back on. Everything's cleaned up. Let's clean this screen out now with some air. That's actually pretty clean. Look here. And we'll change over to our torque wrench. All right, we're gonna measure out a little bit less than 750 milliliters here. It says that's the fill when you're doing maintenance. That's our first 500 milliliters. Different oil here, at least for this. The new guide for 2023 has 10W50 liquid Molly, but uh, that stuff is back ordered everywhere. So I'm just going to use what they use in the 2022s. In the next oil change, I'll throw some 10W50 in it. All right, opposite side of the bike, we're going to do the transmission. Transmission drain plug right here. Let's remove that. It's also 13 millimeter. Cleaned our plug up here. Let's go ahead and throw that back in. I wouldn't recommend using these visual torque wrenches, uh, especially when you're upside down like this. It's hard to get one steady pull and actually visualize what your torque is, but we're going to try to make it to 20 here. And just to double check, that's about it right there. So 15 on the engine oil, 20 on the transmission oil and, and 10 newton meters on the oil filter cap. Gear oil, 750 milliliters. So it's the same capacity. Uh, 
just remove fill a cap and around it. I'm going to start it without the skid plate on just to make sure there's no leaks or anything like that. That is the run-in oil change, what we used to call the break-in. I like run better than break. So we're gonna call it the run-in oil change after three hours of initial ride time. And that's what Beta recommends in the owner's manual. So I hope you enjoyed this content on changing the oil on a 2023 Beta 390 RRS.